Hi everyone, my name is Marit Petkova and I'm a project manager in the data technology team at News UK. Uh, and in my current role, I work with loads of different teams across the technology department at News to make sure that we gather loads of useful data on our users and their behaviours and make sure we understand them really well uh, and we develop new features that they find helpful in consuming our content. Um, I think if you'd asked me about it 15 years ago, um, I never would have said that that would be my career path. Um, I think I expected to end up working in PR, so I'm not too far off, still related to publishing and content. Um, but I took my equivalent of A-levels in Bulgaria, where I'm from, uh, and I did maths and physics and chemistry um, all the way through high school. Um, they were compulsory subjects for us, and I'm going to be very honest with you. They were not my favourite subjects. I loved English Lit, so I really wanted to be able to specialise in that. And I loved understanding different characters and interpreting their actions uh, and analysing what different texts meant. Um, so at the time, um, I really did not want to do extra maths lessons every week. Um, and I didn't really think that it would be part of my career. Um, so. When it came to university, I kind of pursued that interest in understanding texts and understanding audiences, and I did um, sociology and media at university. Um, and I very quickly found that I was actually the one putting together all the research when we had to do a task as a group and analysing all the different results because I had that maths background. Um, so it became somewhat of an of a unexpected superpower, shall we say, um, as I was doing my sociology degree. Um, and I found that it was really interesting to study different audiences and their reactions to information uh, and different ways they can interpret that information. Um, but it was loads and loads of theory and it was kind of cool to be able to test that on real audiences and see their responses. Um, so after university, I... Um, went into video advertising uh, and started running campaigns where um, we would sometimes push a video ad on to 300, 500,000 people um, and see what their reactions were like, um, whether they were more favourable towards the product. Um, and I was just absolutely fascinated that um, I'd watch the video and have a response and have an opinion on it. Um, and then I'd be able to kind of see the data across such a massive audience and analyse how that was doing compared to what I'd thought of it initially. Um, so my role became more and more technical as we were trying to connect the different ways in which you make advertising available. Um, and I eventually switched into project management um, where I now work in the analytics implementation team. Um, and that's the team at News UK that um, ensures the data is there for us to analyse and we speak to loads of different business owners within news to understand um, what they need to know about a certain audience, um, what reactions they anticipate to features that they're bringing in and how we can understand if that feature is working or not. Um, and again, it comes in really, really handy that I already have the skills to look at these data sets and analyse how they're performing. Um, one of the recent pieces of work that we've done um, focused on how our users um, use one of the apps that we've built uh, and we knew that loads of different users were kind of accessing the website once a day, reading one story that was interesting um, and then would could just leave the website and go on to do other things. Um, and we really wanted to understand how we could personalise that to make sure that they were seeing relevant content and they were staying on the website for longer and reading more stories and really engaging with the content. Um, so what we did was um, we added some measurement to be able to analyse a new feature which allowed users to be able to track certain topics. Um, so regardless of what was on the first page of the website or the app, I could go in and customise my preferences and follow UK news or celebrity or football um, and then I would have um, a specific section within the website where I'd be able to just access my news and my preferences um, and it was really really interesting to see that 
once we had the analytics to see how many people were using this feature, um, the users that were personalizing their preferences were reading so many more articles on the website. Um, and they were also choosing to read slightly different articles. So um, while in general, loads of people were enjoying world news and celebrity gossip, um, the users that were customizing their experience wanted to get more specific UK news um, or maybe Premier League news. I don't know why, because I personally would have definitely added celebrity gossip to my preferences, um, but it just meant that it was allowing them that customized experience where they could go in, look at the news that they really cared about um, and engage with the content that was of interest to them. Um, so it was a really, really cool project where um, we were involved sort of from the start to make sure that we had all the right analytics in place in order to be tracking that experiment, but we could also see those results and analyze them. Um, so I guess what I'd say is that um, I've explored loads and loads of different options through my career um, and I've always known that I'm interested in audiences and in studying their responses, um, but maths and having that really logical approach to, to studying that and analysing that has been really instrumental in my career.